There's lots of reasons that you shouldn't be afraid of birth, but today I wanna to share with you just three. My name's Leslie, this is my channel where I share about birth, faith, and family. I am a disciple, wife, mom, and childbirth doula, and I'm so looking forward to sharing these with you today. So, to kick us off, number one, physically, you can do this. Your body was designed to do this. Take any childbirth education class, and you will see that even if you just take a look at the hormones at work in your body during the first stage and the second stage of labor, you will see that your body was designed to ease this for you. God made it that way and so physically you can do this statistics are even showing improvements in the united states although 31 percent is a pretty high c-section rate this actually is has been improvement year over year this is the lowest that our c-section rate has been since 2006 so that means we're doing better v-back rates vaginal birth after cesarean are also going up year over year the people attempting and successfully having vaginal deliveries is increasing so just look at the numbers. You can totally do this. Number two, mentally you can do this. Mentally you can defeat fear. Fear starts in the amygdala, the part of the brain called the amygdala, and then it spreads to the rest of your body for a fight or flight reaction. And so fear actually looks to stifle and paralyze you during a stage where that's actually what you don't want in the picture. You want to be loose, you want to be relaxed, you want to be free because that is what's gonna help labor progress naturally and um, uh, it'll help you ease any pain and be more comfortable for you. And so how do we do that, Leslie? You're probably like, okay, Leslie, you tell me it starts off mentally and it's gonna manifest physically, but like, what do I do about that? Well, I wanna give you just, I just wanna tell you, let's just look at how it enters. You can learn fear, fear is learned. It's either learned from your own experience. So if you've had a past birth experience that has been unpleasant, then I recommend talking about that, revisiting that, processing that so that you can address what exactly happens there so you don't go into your next labor fearing anything. Number two, you can also learn fear from instruction, being told that you are supposed to fear it, you are supposed to get the epidural, you are supposed to go in for a C-section because you're just you're not big enough, you're you're too small in order to deliver vaginally. All these things that can be thrown at you, instruction can teach you fear. What you do with that is you educate yourself. You educate yourself so that you know the truth about labor and that way you can dispel these lies that would induce fear number three you can also learn it by somebody else's experience now we never want to disvalue what somebody else has experienced but you don't have to take somebody else's negative birth experience and make it your own and you don't have to build fear off of that especially if you're a first-time mom and so i encourage you what we need to do is change what we listen to change what you hear the word says faith comes by hearing hearing the word of god fear also comes by hearing and so you need to change what you hear. You need to start listening to positive birth stories. You need to start listening to encouraging things. You need to start listening to things that will help to motivate you for the birth that you desire. And that brings me to number three. The third reason why you should not be afraid of birth is because spiritually, God is there to help you. The Holy Spirit is what he has left, left with us. He is our comforter, he is our advocate, he is our helper, and so he is there to help you through this. And so spiritually, you can, he, God can just team up with God and he can help to prepare you for labor and spiritually get you in the mindset to be able to go in there and go in there with a positive outlook and come out with a healthy, beautiful baby and a positive experience, even if it's not exactly what you dreamed of, to be open to let God move how he wants to move in your birth. And so the word says for in 2 Timothy 1.7, the Lord has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And I totally couldn't agree more. You have to dispel the fear and leave room for faith. And so if you liked this video and you liked what I share, let's just recap real quick. Number one, first reason that you shouldn't be afraid of birth is because physically you can do this. Number two, mentally you can do this. Number three, spiritually, God is there to help you do it. And so if you liked what you heard today please like subscribe tell a friend share this with somebody who you think it may be helpful to and let me know in the comments what is it that you that you feared when it was when you were going into your birth let's talk about this so we can dispel these fears that the enemy would try to have come in and take away from us what jesus died and rose again to give us and so and that is abundant life and so i'm so looking forward to hearing your comments and i will see you in the next one god bless you bye